Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, it's Terry Crews and Lightbulb here. Welcome to the final game of the triple header of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of Game 7. This time, it's about to be the N40 Western Conference of the matchup, as the winners will be playing against the Dallas Stars. And this is where it comes down to this. Vegas Golden Knights tied the series up. Every part of the game that happened to be give Game 1, Game 4, and Game 6. While the Vancouver Canucks have already won second for Game 2, Game 3, and Game 5. But now, this is where it comes down to this. For the last commentators, I have this Me Phone 4, along with Paintbrush, and the third commentary of the crew, all goes for everybody's favorite. And I know who, who you got. Well, say hello to one of our biggest of the night, and I say, the floor. What the floor? You know, the floor. Always got to see what's going on, and there is another change up to see what's happening. Well, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but actually, well, we'll see how it is. And for the center ice, I have it across her gear. And this will be the last one to take all. Boomer in the center ice. And now let's get you down and let's go to the other side and find out what's going on. We'll see you all later here for the post-game show right after this. See you all later, everybody. Enjoy your final game of the Triple Tag. Hey y'all, it's Meat Phone Heal. It's that time. The last game underway in Game 7 comes with Canucks and the Golden Knights at Rogers Arena. This is where it comes down to this. With along with me, along with Paintbrush, the new guest on the floor. It's the floor and the center ice is floor. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Let's get ready. We serve things over here as we have this Queen Hughes right toward him. First shot of safe right in the good. We just made our way past nearing the passing the first nearing the 40 second mark pass in the first period. And now we're ready to have another face off in. The winning face off puts in for the Golden Knights. But Angela trying to keep the puck out. He gives it again to Sutter over to Kurt Everson. Lost the effort this time, and this one goes back to Quinn Hughes. He's better set. Chance in front. Got stuck here by Aiden Hill. And he now tries to give it over to Gander Gordon. Here's Hollander's shot. This one has been redirected. Off of Carlson, trying to kick the puck out of the zone. And here's another takeover. This one stays out of the zone. Now here's another chance here for Limbo. Lost the effort. Pedersen takes the puck away. Over the pass to Hollander. Mortisel has got that puck right toward the wing. The deep inbound. Player is a shot. Big stop by Tatcher Demko. Hughes takes it over. Here's Breeson. Over to Martinez. Martinez loses the puck. Went all the way straight back down to Aiden Hill. And now he gives it over to Fertrangelo. You know what happens now? I was really seeing it what is going, at, going on with the Canucks and the Golden Knights. They really have a lot of it a hard team to get over right into it. And this is not turning what they're all expecting it for. I mean, whatever this is, they, they need to get this one here as straight away, as, as quickly as possible. They may need to do some a little bit of uh, struggle off of this game. But they may not be anybody around. they got to try to see what they can do if the Canucks or the Golden Knights have a chance ever to make for the putback play. Here's Pajangelo as he went down. And he's over right toward the right wing. Pass is broken up. Here's Stephenson. Now the puck out of the gear. In his own. Stephenson has got it across. Here's Freeman. Loses the puck. Barbashev. Amadio shot. Save puts it up by Dr. Demko. And here's McNabb again to Amadio. Over to fire that shot. This one's blocked up and it goes right over toward the wing. Stephenson gives it over to Barbashev. Here's a take to Fedor. Again to Barbashev. And Mikhail with the puck. 
Squirtle left with Fires and shot. This one saved it again by a new gift. The zero shot stopped by Gale. Nagaya, unable to get that goal. Vito, Lucy Effer. Wura gives again to Amedio. 16 15 left to go in this first period. Still keeping the buck alive, and Juleson's got that cover. Again, the ball goes in. But Cole's in, right toward away. Shoots it safe by Aiden Hill. And he will hold the buck here with just under 16 minutes to go. With my new special guest of here, I have the appearances. Welcome to the floor. Hey, it's always a great. And I was going to say, no, it is. Where, where wacky is the game today? I've never seen it coming that long. Well, I could not see it at fall because it's no good in here. Don't worry. Always happens right now. I think a table will be able to be the best solution. So that way, you'll see a little bit much better. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good enough happy enough here. I mean, it's kind of what they always expect about it, but they then play it in. I got a good uh, look of it and feelings, right? Into my good look and have a little bit of a chat. That's how amazing it is. It means it'll be great just like it was. I think this will be a fantastic win for Golden Knights and the, Co and the Canucks. Let's have evade some of the wins. And a shot stopped by Demko. 15 13 left to go in the first period. And on the floor, who do you have your prediction here? Uh, for me? I'm going to say no, but I think that the Canucks are going to get this one to believe in. I'm going to say that they're going to make their way to the conference finals in the Western Conference to, to play against the Dallas Stars. So I'm hoping that might be a, a greater way to get right through it. Hmm, I say, I would say it's the Golden Knights. I would say that they might be heading into the conference finals. I think I've got pretty good uh, judgment for that. So I probably might be going with that. You know, easier range doesn't mean to anybody. That's what they all have to do. Keep on that one when they did. The pass to the 30 shot. Off the glass, this one broke into the play. Oh boy! <laughs> That's gonna be a big fool. Even though glass is protected, I'm always okay. <laughs> You're safe and sound, floor. Always do. That's a replacement for a new glass, and a full face up win was it in for the Mega School of the Knights. He's White Cloud. Why is that shot misses out wide? And LaFerdy will have it over back the early. Shoots it, safe puts it up for the rebound. This one stays out. Bang, stop the puck with only 14 minutes remaining in the first. Juleson will have it over now, again to LaFerdy, and has it to Zadarov. Again to Pedersen. Pedersen streaking his way in. Now here's Morelli. To the right wing, finding Crozet. Crozet shot. Good blocker, stop made by Tatcha Demko. Hollander now finds the game of the He has it now again back to Elias Pedersen. The rebound picks up, and Rochangelo will have the air away. Looks in back. Over now, shot safe, puts it up by Tatcha Demko. Hughes, back to Sutter. Sutter. Speeding across right down towards the Canucks zone to the Vegas zone. Sutter shoots for the save by Aiden Hill. Just under 13 minutes remaining in the first period. Here's the look. As I have it over to Boomer. Alex Petrangelo is one of his shutdown ability. He's better taking over in his defensive effort. He's putting in a lockdown and putting in a better defensive set. Quinn Hughes is one of his sharp edges of the game. But as for Elias Pedersen, he is one of his snipers of his own. He scores! Goals here with his first goal of the night in Game 7. Got their team to a start. A 1-0 lead in the first. You know, what happens now because the goals here just made this one passing Demko. The really reason is that one just made this one here. Sliped it up from the, from the stick and it just slips it through and then right in toward the net. That one just got a, a lucky chain for the Golden Knights. You know, I never see what goes in there because of Keegan Coles there. It, it just what happens now because that one was really digging what they were expecting it because uh, Coles have made this one a very good, a great chance. You know how that effort is? I always make that one feel really well and they just got to keep on raging outside of it and you know how it happens. 
he really needs to let that one get bumbled in there and they maybe they're trying to like regroup the fuck out to here. And they have no idea where it's coming from. Because they really are trying to let that go in, I've gotta say they're really trying to like show them off how they can. Here's Lindholm, shoots it, and it's over again to Rua. Rao with the puck. Shot saved by Tempe. And here's Freeman under 12 minutes to go. Thanks to Boomer. All that on the save here. It goes with the snipe zone to Elias Pedersen. Got a great longer shot. Might be a chance here if they can take the effort to go in. And here's Cole. Right again to Bob Olsen. Again to Lindholm. Playing out right toward right wing. Finds a shot and scores. Elias Lindholm ties his game up after Colson's shot. They now have their ties with Wolves. Great stop. Elias Lindholm got a really good up there. Got a great one to take. You know what happens to Lindholm not when he's going to go back to the loose point? The rain just happened in there. It just made that one really easier and easier to take here for Lindholm. Seven down. Got a great one to have this one go. It's now a tie game between the Nuts and the Golden Axe with 11 3 to go in the first duel. Now he's to win four Vegas Golden Knights. Luchangelo now has to begin with Reeson. Reeson right toward the end down. Makes a get, and Freeman with the buck takeover. Now back to Bill. He leaves a chance to McKay. Shot, stopped again by Eden Hill. Martinez trying to grab it again to Luchangelo. Back to Martisol. Martisol right toward the right wing. Fires that shot, close to save by Demko. Near in the midway mark of the period in the back half. It's all even up. Now to ready for the face off. You can feel the energy now. It's a tie game. And the Golden Knights wins the face off. Moves around. Oh, Demko, what a save. That one's going to be Martin Sells with his first goal in Game 7, and that one denies them. You know, that was excellent. When you do it for Potato Denko, that one really made a great save. That was a little bit tricky on that move. Here's another one, McNabb. Shot blocked, and this one will roll it back again to Carlson. Behind the net is Pedersen. 10 30 left to go in the first period. Moves it across right toward the right left wing. Sutter shoots, plus save by Aiden Hill. 10 21 left to go in the first period. And then we'll have another chance here to get our, our releasement on its way. Now to win for Vegas, and he, now he has to begin to feed it off. Two, big attempt hit, and it's now Hollander's puck to take away. And back to Pedersen. Pedersen, moves it around, misses a target. Pedersen now finds Hollander. Moves it again, Freeman blocked the shot. Aminio with the puck in now, right toward the right wing. Easy enough to make a slip move, and a slipping shot. Save puts up by Tim Cook. Barbashev lost that one, it's not going to do with the puck takeaway. 9 30 left to go in the first period. He will now try to make something else new. Again, to Pedersen. Fiedler takes the puck away. Fiedler trying to have it over to Stephenson. Lost the effort as Miller with the rebound take. You know, not always easier when you, they're losing that puck. They're trying to pass it again. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on happening now, but that needs to be a little bit cleaner to play that one really well. And guys, let's talk about this one for Tatcher Demka. He's really named as the goaltender and was selected for the Canucks in the second round on the 36th overall 2014 NHL's entry draft. And this is what he has been doing. Because of Demko, he was with the Utica Comets in 2018. That was the last one that got him to be college and minor league after playing in San Diego at age four. Then his next take moved to Los Angeles to play with the youth hockey for the LA Junior Kings. You know, always gonna say for now. I mean, when playing for LA Kings, that's for that's for something else here. That the Kings Junior might be having to play with that one. Now. I'm pretty sure they have it. He scores! Oh, Golden Knights are just swabbing things out in first period as Nicholas Bro gets his goal. Now that's what Wow does that. 
and it just keeps on coming. You know, I just say about the goal is, and this one really keeps it after goal are, and this one gives it to Rurao, and that goal just got it right in the back. Tanjo Demko made a great one to take his ability, but the second one didn't work out for him. That's all it takes. He's got to, like, take over what he does. Now the win for the, Ve for the Vegas Golden Knights is Petrangelo. That's the right to the right wing. And here's Golzer shot. Big stop by Dr. Demko. Behind the net, back to Corona. He now finds it to Mikhail. Mikhail, right toward the right wing. Gives it over to Hughes. Hughes the tightest game up. Oh, makes a stop by Andy Bill. Just eight minutes remaining in the first period. And they're ready for the next face off. Oh, that was a very close call. I mean, I would have seen that if this would have been a uh, closer game of sense. They really got to start doing some nuts. Face-off with for Carlson, and here's Petrangelo. Now we're saying over here, because of how it happened, he has been able to take over. And this is scores! And he's in over two! In the first period! There, it's tied up again. Oh, what back-to-back thing! After that, it's the first game, get to Elias Lindwall. And it needs to be done with a great rebound, and this is what happens now. Get the puck, get a dollar. Great shot. Back to back switches between Vegas and Vancouver. Two and two is the score. Carlson wins the face off as Martinez caps it over. And now, after this one happened, this is where it does look like. Because of this, the winning silver medal with the team happened to be a 2012. 2012. World U-17 Hockey Challenge. I was really noticing what is going to happen now, but this is what the national development team does happen for the 2012-2013 season. And then, after that, he started playing in college, in Boston College with the Eagles of Hockey East for 2013-2016. A primary starting goaltender for all three seasons. He earned his impressive 62 saves over 26 and 10 record with a point nine nine hundred twenty eight saving percentage. Two point oh oh eight goals of our average to win thirteen shots of the game. And at the time of his leaving, he held that school for his second best career. With the better ones, two point oh eight on the second most wins. I was really impressed with how this happened. And you always got to do the same thing too. Always know what Dr. Dibko is really about. You know I can always say for it and once be from everybody's watching that. Goaltenders, they always think they've done the best of it. I always know that they really done their great speed in it. Here's Martinez right over it again to Bertangelo. And here's Preset. Toward his right now, what will he do? Thompson shuts up again by Tetradenka. Preset gives it again to Martinez and now finds him Bertangelo. And it's blocked up. Try to put up a rebound. Hoglander with the puck take away. They really are starting to make things mess over because of a Hoglander really have to let that one be. And stop by Andy the game with just only 6.08 to go. Teams are lined up and ready for the faceoff. This game is still even. Vancouver trying to get right into back into defense. Vegas pushing their way in front. Barbashev trying to go for a lead off to Stephenson. No deflection given off here. Behind the net. Leading across. Pass! Broken up! McNabb tries to regroup it. He gives again to Barbashev. Big K on a smash down on the board. Oh, lost the effort, and Demko makes a stop. Under 5 3 left to go in the first period, still even up. The next face off coming in for the attack, under 5 3 to go in the first. And now the win for the Vancouver Canucks. Here's Cole, finding McKayev. To the left wing, in and bound, right by near the net, and it's now back to McNabb. Here's an R1 for Bozer shot. And Kill will try to deny that play. 5.07 to go in the first.
Now to win for Vegas. And Cotter trying to wake his way across the theater and deep past the Colzer. Colzer for a lead and saved by Demko. Rolls back to Hughes the other way. Nothing expected when you know, but Dr. Demko made a save. Here comes JT Miller for Chansley. It's been stopped again by Aiden Gale. Oh, JT Miller almost would have had that. It would have been a crazy one to take. And a bit of late penalty call as the referee's has been signaling on the Vegas Golden Knights. They'll get the first power play for Vancouver. Goddard calls the interference. He's in the penalty box. Well, that's what happens. It's a bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Not always you know that. I mean, I always can't let you think of it how it's done. The power play starts being soft for the Canucks. Just going down to 4.23 to go. Now the win. I say at this moment, if he gives it back to McNabb, he will fire that puck out of here, and Carlson will have the air with. He has again a 7 set. 7 set, but a shot has been knocked out of here as Lindholm will have the airway with four minutes to go. It toward away, fires it for the lead, and this one just misses. Amandir Lindholm shot for three! Oh, he almost had the hat trick, but this one stops it again. And there's Patterson, right down again to Hughes, again to Hollander. I'm going to go right toward the middle. This is the Hughes. Good save. A 1 11 to go in the first period of the power play and 3 44 for the first period of the regulation. Ready for the next face off. Now he used to win as Petrangelo makes, a, makes another face off win. Can't reach the puck yet. All the way back to the connect zone. And Aronic will give a deep pass again to Garland. Garland, take a big hit, and now back to Pertrangelo. Deeps the puck out, in the range. Here's another one to Mikhail. Again to Garland. Spins it around, now finding Miller. And Sutter's got it across. McNabb with the puck seal. Sutter shot, misses! Oh, I think he got just got the toe, and tried it, let's save it. Well, if this one goes with shot wide, I mean, I wasn't very sure what is going to happen, but that all needs to expect what's going on. And Garland shot saved by Aiden Gill. Back again, Rornick blocked the shot. Power plays over for the Vancouver Canucks as they're bringing a full strength with the group. You know what easy what they happen now? They're playing really well. It's because of defensive on its way. You know how cool it would be here. And now I was expecting that they really have been Keeping it up here ever since then. They really need to do something a little bit of favor to get right into it. It's not going to be easy what they're doing it for because if you don't have the right time to get this go in, then no leadoff won't take it in. And here's a takeover. Another face off ready for the Canucks and the Golden Knights. Now the win for the Canucks. Three minutes. Fires a shot. For a save, yes he does. He will cover that puck with for 148 to go. They're in a full pressure zone here for the Canucks. Now they're off to a next face-off. Face-off win for the Vegas Golden Knights. He bows that puck out. And here's Key. Fires it off to Cutter. Cutter shoots. Save again by Patrick Demko. And over on a shot, Mrs. Rock. Wow, with the puck. A shot. Chopped it up and it goes right off the glass. Roar shot. Mrs. Rock. For a chance play, this way doesn't take it. Got her. Oh, he went down. Great play here for, for Mark Friedman as he gets over to Bazaar, taking the puck out. Not really what they all have to do for him. I mean, this is what I can't really say enough about that. It's just how crazy it is. Out of pass to Freeman. Over to Makaya. Freeman battling for rebound and he scores! Nice play for Makaya. Now they brought the team up by one. Well, I sure know. And Makaya is really doing really well. And he gets me a turnaround. He just shot him. Who's this? 
You know, I always really like that, but guess that both really mix it in there. That just got it down through. I think that's really made this one a great chance at all. And I know that boat, that one got up ahead. The Canucks extend their lead, 3 0 over Golden Knight, 3 2. Back up ahead with 37 seconds to go. Now they're ready for the face off. With Freeman with the assist, he now has it over to mark himself. Here's another take. Oh, what a stop! Solid move for Thatcher Demko. And it's now back to Lafert. Lafert he shoots, saved by Aiden Hill. 15 seconds left in the first period for the next face off. We are almost done. First period coming to the end of the books, and we will have a second period underway soon. And now the win for Vegas. Richangelo will now have it over on the way. Who's again crossing? Back to Brisson. Brisson will try to handle it over. A shot saved again by Demko. Just the time went out, and that will do. Great chance here for Tatcha Demko. And a part and a good goal for Mikhaev. Now about to lead up by one. Three twos to score. Be back after this. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. We're ready to start the second period. All ice is ready to get crushed up and get ready to go. Here we go. Second period starting now as I send it over to you guys in the first period recap. Well, something to say about this. I mean, the Golden Knights are really like a hard team to be to be beaten here because the last season they already never just made their way to the first round. And they already been stopping in here until the end of the end of the postseason against the Seattle Kraken. But the thing is now, the Seattle Kraken are already been messing it up right now because now they're already eliminated, they're already gone. I'm hoping there's another uh, franchise player that we were looking for. Contracts are just throwing tiny things everywhere, so I'm thinking that Seattle Kraken might be pushing their way into the wild card spot. I mean, it, it's their chance. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen already. Mm, I don't know anything about that, but. It's going to be like a little too close anyway. Almost seem to be like the same thing as I always mentioned it before. But you don't have to just try to see what's going to happen there. The Golden Knights are going to try to like keep on defending it. Now the next face off comes in. Three to a score for Vancouver. And as now the Vegas will win the face off. Here's Petrangelo. Back to Marcusel. Toward the lane. Fires a shot. Saint by Demko with 19.10 to go. I have another one here for you. This one is calling for Frederick Elias Pedersen. is a Swedish professional ice hockey forward and the ultimate captain of the Canucks. He was selected for his fifth overall on his better range with the Canucks in 2017 NHL draft and was born Sundsvall, Sweden. But then grew up in Angie. You know, one of the great U-20 seasons in SHL history in 2017-18, winning a Lemat Trophy. And David Oxo Lakers. He made a Canucks opening night roster for the 2018-19 season. And he won a Calder Memorial Trophy. More on that later. Dr. Demko here for the light work, and it's better taking over when there's a lot of time on the effort. This is why I usually call him the Wild Saves is playing up, and he has that one with the light up on his hands and playing in between. Better blocker and a bit of a glove to have that one catch him in the A better one is, gotta take off. Stop by Tempo. Just 18 19 to go in the second period. And this is what happens the Calder Memorial Trophy is the league's best rookie in 2019. He became the second Canuck to do so after Gravel Brewer in 1992. But now, his moment is just keeping it in here. On his early life, putting a Sweden in on his long, with his longest of the International Hockey League, and it to be one of our biggest ones. The same thing that goes with the other team as, as well. And as for Sebastian Ajo, he played it on the other side of the two, and definitely any other competitions that play for the outdoor leagues of the, of the Winter Olympic Games. I always say they've done great. Hey, better regards on this one here for Elias Patterson. Always really neat to know because that is a great way to have it all. Mm, separating is almost not the bad already, but Elias Patterson, I always really like it when this one comes in. 
and just keep it in here. You can't let that one go away. Beautiful gold skin. Hits it down. Peter gives it again a seven set. Seven set shot. It stopped again. Amelio again to seven set. Gets it in bound for Chancey scores. On a crashing site in the crease zone, Stephenson ties this game up. Oh man, we really are in a fight going on. What is this? Crash? Give me a break. Now I know what happened to the Chandler Stephenson. He just made this one in there and then this one crashes in right toward the uh, crease and this is what happened here. Crease pressure, this is what it definitely did happen. That was near the blue line. That almost made that no goal, but they called it that the goal stands already. They are just fighting it back every game. Like you never mean it. I do so remember waiting for the Vegas Golden Knights. This one takes it for McNabb with 16.45 to go. And Marcusel. Lost the effort. Recent. And a shot for lead stopped by Tatra Demko. And Freeman will have an air pass to Sutter. Sutter right toward the right way. Lost the effort. And here's McNabb. Right over again, a long way down, nobody over. And Ogilvy will try to have it over back here early. Again to Sutter. Lost the effort. And here's Pedersen to Sutter. Shot stopped again by Aiden Gill. And McNabb will have it. Feel. Right down towards his left wing. Going for a leadoff and almost picks it up in. Dr. Demko's trying to hold on his life. Oh man, don't take it anywhere else because they might gonna have to sell, gotta find another way to do this anyway. But that, gotta get through it. Vegas wins the faceoff. Here's fake shot, big save by Dr. Demko. And Cole will have it the airway right towards the white slot. Off the Bredersen shot. And the blocker stop made by Aiden Gill. Hollander again to Pedersen. He goes to begin the Sutter. Shoots it. Saved again by the goaltender. You know, it's easier what happens now for Aiden Gill. He just really gets a better way to have that one over another save. It's just when you keep an, an eye straight away from there toward the puck drop. You keep an eye and look at your man defense and you take your eyes shift lead right towards your 33 yards here. It's no matter what's coming at you. He's going to move quickly. I know what happens here for 80 head, but that just keeps on here good. And I know that it's just an easier way to do this. And exactly the true chance here. Reserve. Miller. There are too many bodies in the way, and this one gives it again a huge. Back to McKay. On a shot for Miller. This one's missed the target block. Reserve. Full pressure for the Canucks. New shot, let's say. 14 3 left to go in the second period. And they're just keeping it going and going. Still a lot of time left in the remaining period. You can feel the energy to this crowd in Rogers Arena. It's 3-3 game. And Pertangelo, as the Vegas team wins the series, wins the face-off. Finds a shot, stop made by Demko. 14-50 remaining in the second period. Have another face-off the airway. And as you're ready to bring things on, we've got a great look for a deal. And yes, that's right. Son of Beast is actually doing this one for the full end review of tour for the call for on a trip to New York City for the BFDI and M8 Center. That's where he's going to be handling things for the next take. If he has a little bit more room, he'll try to do so. It'll take some time after this, this one will be it. But promisely, he won't do the recording actually. Because of that moment, this won't happen. And this is where he was going to do to get this thing being done and get ready for our next part that he's done. Last year was Vancouver. He enjoyed it. Now this year, this will happen again. That's going to be on Son of Beast for the Better On Review for 2024 of the FDI and his Eddie Tour. Keep your eyes peeled. After the show. Carlson. Right to make that. And a shot set by Demko. You know, it is here what happens to talk to Demko. It's a little bit a little rough on that occasionally. I can always say for now, I mean, 
just what they all got to believe for is keep on, like, keep on covering the puck out there. They've gotten pretty good, actually. And here's Carlson with 12 minutes to go in a second. Over and out of Arkansas. And it's stop made here by another goaltender. We're going to make something happen here. Right toward along to the right wing. Garland. Lost that effort. And Garland will try to recover the puck again to Lindholm. Leno trying to speed across right down to the wing. And makes a shot. Going for three stops by Aiden Hill with 11.31 to go. Now it's the call for Pedersen. Pedersen is one of the long range of his build. The better takeover is a snipe set of his own. But it's all that happens here. Because of Quentin Hughes, he makes his uh, elite edges. It's not what happens now. But bringing in play is just the far part of it that he has to go with. Now he will try to find out if he gets his snipe one in for Pedersen to increase the score to get right back to it. Now the face-off win is off for Vegas Golden Knights. He will now try to have it over again to Poulter. On his way. He lost the puck. Peter will try to bounce back. McNatt pulls up to Royal. And a shot stopped again by Demko. Another take. Poulter shoots. And stopping off the mask. And oh, that was too close. Off the goal post, it goes back to Pedersen. You know how crazy that is? That one's almost going to be a close one to deflect it in. A little bit of a ricochet here, eh? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's going to be, it's definitely a close one on the call. I mean, they never expected what they all have to do. And then this is what I just really can't say in that first show. Got to keep that out. Stop by Aiden Gill. Just 10 17 in the second, nearing the back half of the period. And speaking of the the FDI and MA Sandy recap of the 2024. This will be another take here, as if you already have a ticket take. Oh! Excuse me! Quinn Boone has made a CNI ability. Now they got the team up on board. Now watch what happened to JT Miller. He gives it over to Quinn Boone, and this is what happened to be a CNI perception. That actually needs to be a whooping rocket right there in the pass of the bulls on there. And it just made that one in there. That was a little bit of a harder thing, but that really did fit well. They're now back in the lead. Four days to score. And coming to a back down for the second period. It's now coming in. And Stephenson with the buck steal. Looks right toward the left wing. Not a shot stopped again by Tatra Demko. Now rolls to Martinez. Lost the effort, and it's Petrangelo back to Martinez. Rolls it out. Here's Bolzer. Flicks the puck out. He just made it to the back half of the second period. Martinez trying to have it over. Good Bukaya because they get it in her warning. Hughes. Lost the effort. Amedio right over into the other side of the wing. Now gives a chance at putting back again to Martinez. Shot. Good stop by Tatra Demko. 9.16 left to go in the second period. So, like I just said here before, if you got tickets down for the Inanimate Sandy and BFDI tour, thank you so much to everybody. The population for New York has been going, growing very fast. Same thing with Los Angeles. And as you may have already noticed that before, they are all sold out quickly before the next one gets turned out to be gone for Flor Lauderdale. And then the next one was Cal to, you know, Chicago. And finally, they had it across here. Houston tickets are sold out. The only one that's happened was Seattle. And now that's going, I guess now, they all have to enjoy it there too. So that will be the shows for every other day. Starting for June 28th to 29th, we'll be in New York City. And then to the finish line to August 3rd and 4th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And a chance here that we might be looking for an expansion plan for 2025. So we don't know what's going to be and we don't know what's it going to look like. It's going to be a lot of changes out there, but you'll find out soon enough.
I'm not that right. You are. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am just kidding right now. I, I always like goofing already. I don't know if it's like that. Now I'm moving in, moving in here right now to check out the broadcast sensation. I guess this one's a very great that space too. It'll stop the bucket with only 7.51 to go in the second fuel. Now I say what happens now because the Vancouver Canucks here really are expecting that. Maybe heading to Cap Canada? I I don't know if that would happen. Maybe Kansas City. Maybe the next stop. Just like the Kansas City Chiefs out there. There, if you're a Chiefs fan, raise your hand. Like I just said, the Kansas City Chiefs fan, raise your hand. That's me. There you go. That's why I always hear from you. Now the wing for Ian Murdershaw, he now has it over to Murchison. He's again recent. Here's he. Seven three left to go in the second period. He's trying to give it off to Greeson. Exiting the zone is Carlson. Into the Canucks zone. Firing away. Stop by Demko. 7 on 9 to go in the second period. Trying to find a narrow way to get through. And now here comes the next face off. We're looking for Eichel. Unfortunately, I don't know what had happened. It may be because his contract has changed. And just because of what happened is... They're all entertaining about and talking about Jack Eichel. He knows he missed everything, but I have never seen anybody that's going in. Now, he's with the other team. I don't know what's going on, but the secondary group, he seemed like he missed everything. He was out and suspended already. I always miss a Jack Eichel. What do you think? Well, I've always been missing him so much, but quite some time he's missing every postseason of the game with the team. Well, as you always expect it now, I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on coming in because Jack Eichel, he missed everybody, and this is whatever happened now, and this was his loneliest, loneliness day, and he's coming here to the bench, but I always get to know what happens now. He comes right into the side of it on, on the bleachers, it might be what they're, they're looking towards team, and he's trying to see what he can do, if he can try to cheer them on. And it's just what happens now. It's just been a sad day for him. What happens now? I mean, doesn't mean, mean that he really can get there. But I know he's really like seeing this game versus in between in Vancouver and back to home in T-Mobile Arena. I know it happens that now that time. Yeah, you know what? I don't wish that Jack Rebel would be doing. Maybe there have to be one way. I always never see what's going on like this, but Jack Rebel, it's. Okay for you, mate. Just gotta keep on you going here and then just go what you can do. But just given all that back here, hopefully Jack Eichel will be keeping an eye on you for the next season with the team. If he can keep it alive. To get back on ice. Of course he will. Definitely will. Yeah, must have done that one here. I mean, we'd love to have Jack Eichel back. Here's the Medito. Amedio with the fuck game right toward the wing. Fight is a shot set by Demko. Under five minutes remaining in the second period. We'll get some time to, to take a breath, take a breath, and now ready for the faceoff. Lots of time left in this period. 4 3 is a score for Vancouver. The Golden Knights regain the group. Nice block effort here for the Canucks. Vegas in transition. Off to Amedio. Amedio right to her weight. Try to give over again the open look. Now Pedersen gives it over now, trying to get it again to Hoglander. Just 4-10 to go in the second period. Spins across. Pedersen shot. Her rebound. This one takes it out. And there is save puts up by Aiden Gill. Under 4 minutes to go. Now the puck has been stolen. And back to Cole. Here's Sutter. Oh, the chance in front. And it's saved. What a wild one! Margisol right toward the left wing. Over now to Carlson. Ooh, that one takes a big smash over. Ooh, wow. That match is not even just what they all need to know for. It's just what I need to see what it's going to be. Every day that happened right now, I mean, that, that class is going to be really that hard. I and mean, think I'm not in defense. This was really like 
a hard and brutal play. And yeah, I mean, really do it for. Really do. Here's a Roman shot. And a save puts up by Aiden Hill with Tab passing down the three minute in the second period. Reason trying to get into it. The tie is game up. Come to that. One time stepped again by Tatra Demko. And here's Mikhaev. Short away. Passing it over now to the Hornet shot. It stopped. And this run goes right, the, right next to the nut. And it's back to where really again returns a look. Here comes attacking. Dennis Senko for a shot. On number 10, Dennis Senko doesn't take a shot. As Demko will cover the puck up. All officials again set, ready for the face-off. 4 3 score, Vancouver up by one. Now the win for Vancouver connects as it began to Hughes. Vancouver back into the night zone. Garlic rolls it around. Rolls it in, just stops it out. Here's Denisenko. Takes a smash kick right toward the wall. Now he gets the puck out of here. Taking a look at their away to Petrangelo. 147 left to remain the second. And now it's rolled again to Martinez. Keep the puck over again to Morelli. And that's another bad step here as he went down. Oh, I just really can't believe it. Wow. We got a little bit of battle range out there. Going for some kicks on the ice. I mean, take, take some slow down already. Man, that doesn't look like a will attack us. Last minute in the first, very second period, and Aiden Hill covers it up. Now they're next, now they're ready to make the face off. Come in. Four threes to score. And the win puts it in for the Vegas School of the Knights as Emilio with the puck. Recovers it with under a minute to go. Here's Julesen now finding again to center. Oh, a long moment in the center ice. Oh, that is a big hit. I always never see what's going to happen like that. I mean, they always need to know what, what's causing the problem actually, but it's just not always when you really think of it how that is going by. Great stop from Tatra Demko. What a big save in the night. I always say that Tatra Demko has been doing really well lately. I can say it for sure. He's good right to take the save of the night in the game. I think he's looking to get into his next rise to take a stop. And that will do the second period. Two periods complete, one more to go. Be back after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Hey guys, it's Summit Beast here. Just have a little bit of a quick uh, quick discussion in between of the Vancouver Canucks and the Golden Knights. The better play in this one, this is how it happened already. When playing it for other reasons is in the regular season, this one was really not really the close one to be here. As you always know here, the Vancouver Canucks have been one of the best here, and because of this point, they have been really been pushing their way off the limits toward the ground, beating the other Canadian teams, except one of the biggest matchups is the Edmonton Oilers. And this was not really what their easy is, because that one really keeps it on here going, and they had all the coming down. Golden Knights are trying to like fight them back here against the against the Vancouver Canucks. But this wasn't the day that how that happened here because that away game must have meant to make the win. This when it happens to be Vancouver Canucks happening here for the last game on April 8th. The first game happened with March 7th for the Vancouver Canucks and the Golden Knights. They've been knocking it out of here and this one was stopped. And then the second game happened with the Golden Knights on April 2nd that day. And it was not really easy what they were expecting for Vancouver to try to go up and make the attack and to win it. Not until long, the next day happened, just a couple of days, because the Vegas Golden Knights have beaten it over the Vancouver Canucks. It was a little bit too hard to take over it, and that was not really the easier way to have it in there. And then it was the Canucks that happened again. On the closing game in April 8th, before the end of a regular season is completed, this was really the hard on how they did. Not everybody's facially uh, taking over it, 
but you can't let the Canadian teams try to rule you down without the American team knowing that. It's just really un unbreakable, and it doesn't happen with most of all get to this point. Don't play for anybody if you get it through. In the meantime, that's it for you for right now for Vancouver Canucks and the Vegas Golden Knights. We'll find out who wins this game in Game 7. And also I have a little uh, quick announcement for you guys. Because the new season is happening for the WNBA, I will be able to send one of the links it down. And then the votings will be happening on our July 17th and to the 18th of NHL 25 and NBA 2K25. That will be the next one here on its way to keep your eyes peeled for a new season of Season 4 and Season 5. So that will be all the games here, and that will be it. And last but not least, I will be able to do some a little bit of a skit and a challenge, but this one's going to take a lot of time to do this. And a reaction video after the conference finals has been finished, it will be all revealed and finished up at last. It will be school stories and the dentist meltdown. Well, I will say this. Don't be under meltdown. At all, please. <laughs> and that's because of Hammer Nations. It's what they all expect it now. That's what you can all do. Just make them go with the win. In the meantime, that is pretty much it. And I hope that everybody's having a wonderful evening. And on uh, Terry Crews and Lightbulb will be back here soon. Have a great night, and I'll see you all again next time. Son of Beast, out. We come down to the final period in Vancouver. Ready for the puck drop. And it's been a long night. Hope you're having fun with us. And for the triple header games, this is where it comes in for the last one. All right, I have to take over for you two guys and how they did in the second period. Well, this is whatever happens now. I mean, they really expected the Vancouver Canucks have been really playing for every single day. And just because of the fire right now, season ends, They've played for so many times that one. Vancouver Canucks has been a, like a better team already. They're trying to beat the Golden Knights, but it was not always easy when they are trying to like move things out of the way and get right to here. Now the win for the Vegas Golden Knights, he gives it a return to the off to market salt, and here's Pedersen, takes it over. Takes a bump over the wall, and now he finds it again. Market salt. Toward away. Find a pack, squeeze it shut. Stopped again by Demko. And Harwarding again to Hughes. He races toward right toward in the center ice. In the left wing, passing to Mikhail. For two, this time it won't go in. Addison went down, no penalty on Vegas. Well, it's just what they don't really do. I mean, don't take penalties on that one exactly, sure. But you just want to want to try and like watch me, watch what's going on. Right around you and me, it's not always easy when you take over this. Hughes takes the puck away. And here's Stephenson. A chance to tie this game as Mikhaev takes it out. Whipping it through, now finding Corona again to Hughes. Hughes now finds Miller. Miller got bundled up already right by the blue line. And Stephenson gives it to Amidia. Shot, a rebound, looks it out, and it's Bozero with the puck. Under 18 minutes remaining in a third. Fires a shot. Broken that stick up, and this one will replace a new one. Peter now finding Barbashev. Gives again to McNabb. McNabb lost that one. Over now with a shot. Saved by Tatu Demko. I think the give a go moment. I don't know what's going on, but that is almost going to be a tie game. That was too close. Out of the zone, we have it across again to Amidio. Shoots it, and save puts up by Demko. Referee will give a broken stick off the ice, and get ready for the next face-off. Now off to the next face-off. 17.09 to go, in the third period. The win for Vancouver. He's Freeman. And it's now back to Connor, back to Hero Way. Lost the effort. Trying to give over to Connor. Connor got bumped out. Here's Cole. Cole right toward the middle. Breathing his way through. And he went down as McNabb got him through. Wow. Right toward the right left wing. Lenoff. 
with the puck steal, trying to get three goals in this game. And no penalty has been called. Great battle on the board. Cole takes it away. Slides across to Pukowski. Pukowski pass to Garland. Shot misses the target. Off the glass and back to McDad with 16 minutes to go in the third. Wow. Quite for what it Fires it and makes another save for Captain Demko. Here's Luger. He fires it. Behind the net is Fedor. Kicks it. And here's Marcel. Now finding reset. Reset. Oh! Bricked the big hit in the blue line. Oh, I the SC that one coming already because the Golden Knights are making the attack and that that's called medieval time. On revenge, payback strikes back. They're all over already. Oh, bro. This still shouldn't be happening like the world war they Carlson, recent shot, big save by Tatra Demko. Wow, you can hear the fans are rolling. They're up for supporting Dr. Demko. Yeah, everybody's already. You can hear it. I can hear it. You can hear it. We all can hear it. I know Dr. Demko's really like doing well. I mean, gotta give him some bright credit. Great support. Under 15 minutes remaining in the third. Time to tie it up. And this one stopped by Demko. And he will hold that puck here with just only 14 during the go. If you're tuning into the NBA playoffs, here are the coming up games that will be happening here for tomorrow and for the next day. Now at the start, Vince Upper, as we have the Celtics facing against the Heat, our first look here in the Eastern Conference Finals. Then the next one will be happening with the other side of the team as the Thunders take on against the Minnesota Timberwolves in Game 7. That's happening here at 9.30 p.m. on the other side. And after that, what happened? We will see what goes in for the next take. And he scores! That deflection puts it in for Jonathan Marchitzal. Ties up by four. I don't see what just happened. It looks like what the app face off with a quick draw. And that's what happened here, and this is what Carlson gives it over to. And then that pass and goes to Marchitzal. A quick deflection. Great look. Great setup for the Carlson. He has that one quick draw on his release man, and then give it over to Marcusol that quickly. Now they're tying it up by four and four. And here's Bozero. Like I said here before, we have a, we have a next game that will be tomorrow. Only one game for Eastern Conference, and the other game will be Game Seven in the Western Conference semifinals. In Game Seven, the winner will move on to take on Dallas Mavericks, and this will be happening here in between. And between the first game in Minnesota or the first game at OKC. This will be happening here to be prepared for the next matchup. That will be to be determined. Stick around. Say puts it up here by Demko. All games here only on Summer Beats. And he is Fuse, 14 20 to go. And JT Miller right the other way. Fire set butt. Near the board is Martinez. Here's Barbashev. Lost the effort as Wiedemann will now have it again to Bruce. He is now in front of Mikhaev. Gives again to Sutter. Sutter over to Hughes for the lead. And this one stays out of his own. Great play by Aiden Gill. You know Aiden Gill? That one has been seen. I've got a great look of it. A great save. That's going to be a wild take. You know what happens? A quick draw reaction is going to take a little bit of a moment to pass. I didn't see that he was really getting great at it. Intentional way? It's just how it happens. I, I really like that when this goes in. Gotta keep playing it like it's for real. You know what? Whenever you do here for Aiden Hill, I mean, just keep practicing with the saves. But now, he's getting better. Might be the master of it. Who knows? Battling for a loose buck. Under 12 minutes to go in a bird. Here's Speedor. Here gives again to Colzo. Colzo gives again to Rook. Wow, shot saved off by Demko. And here's another one for Sutter. 11.30 to go in the third period. Trying to go for a lead. Hill stop. Another big save here with under 11.30 to go. Now 
Now the next team is underway. We've got a great ones to take here as the energy is growing loud in Vancouver. 4-4 four four is the top. And our win for Rao. And here's Cotter. Cotter, oh, I don't know how to happen. But Hale's going to stop it again. Just nearing the midway mark of period. Taking some time effort here, and our face-off comes on for Vegas and Vancouver. And the win puts in for the Golden Knights. McNabb now finds Marchessault. Takes his time, and this one stays out of his own. Freeman, try to go right toward it. Lay it off. And Freeman's having a little bit of trouble to get clear the puck out. Here's Cole. Knock the puck out of here, and Carlson will have it back. Here comes the take. Rebounds it. McNabb. Over to Marchesal. Sadie for the rebound. Stumped again by Dr. Dunko. A great chance effort here. That puts up almost a full pressure. And taking over into it, you just got to keep on playing against the man of mans It's always easy enough when you're doing it on defense. Play it for real, play it for right. Now here's a take from Garland. Chance for lead. Sadie, rebound, and he scores. Oh, what a nice take here. From post game, save today. Back to lead. You know what I say about those things? You just wait this one, pop it in, you just reach that puck, not in the crease in the way. That one's gonna be great, and I always say that we better look it up to make a patch out of it. Not really. I always really like that for those things. We just made our own glory take. I got a gun. You can also be pretty, be pretty good with the assist too. Now the win for JT Miller. As we are just made, his, made a pass through midway mark. He went down as he was to on it. Missed a shot. Here's Stephenson right again to Portrangelo. And finds Barbashev. Barbashev's speeding across from here. And over to Amadio. And a stop made by Tachadenko. Here's the roll hit back again to Mikhail. Mikhail spins across. Lost the effort as Martinez will have it over right toward and right wing in a slot. Bumps it up. Quinn Hughes tries to grab his own rebound. Here's Aronek now. Again. The pass over again to Bozer. Bozer shot. Saved by Hill. Nearing down the seven minute mark in the third period. 5-4 is a score. And who got a better call? I send it over to Boomer. Alex Petrangelo has been doing really on his better taking of defense at that point. I know he's been doing really well taking the defenders out of here, but that's what you call that shutdown. He's been on the strong defense. Better effort that happens, I'm pretty sure he's got a great feeling of it, and hopefully this might keep it in to tie this up. Hopefully this might keep it alive for him, but let's find out if he does. Here's Sutter trying to get Pedersen back into work. And Hughes loses that puck effort to the corner. Battling for a loose puck. Pedersen lost the effort. Pedersen shoots it. Too close to the goaltender. Martinez trying to give over right back again to Petrangelo to tie this game. Close range inbound. Great poke away here by Quinn Hughes. Loses the puck effort. Martinez back the other way. Big hit. And went right around the net. Quinn Hughes right toward the airway. Elf again to Bredesen shot. Saved by Aiden Gill. Here's Marcusol with 7.20 to go. Rochangelo working his way across into the zone. Near the slot. And saved again by the goaltender. Ozer again to Hughes. Hughes right toward the right wing. The left wing and get the Bozier. And it's back to Hughes. Trying to go for a shot. Big save by Hill. Great chance effort, but not a close call. 5 4, still the score. 
Face-off win for Vegas Golden Knights. Well, he said, loses that one. He is for sure. Chance for extension. Oh, nice poke check here for Aiden Gill. You know what happened now? I always say that I was going to make that slot into a tricky zone. You know what I was saying? It'd be fun. It's just what they all have to believe on because that really is a close way to get right to it. And I always can't let that happen if, if I need to change everything. But why does it keep going? How's this gonna let, how's this gonna happen with with Aiden Gill trying to poke it out of here? That's gonna be a lot of like a hard ones to stop in mind. Can't lose that effort if you're gonna play it while they're Canucks or the Golden Knights. It's just what happens now. You don't you don't win it, you don't take it all. I wouldn't say so. <laughs> it's just not what you really gonna start out. Shot stopped again by Aiden Gill. And here's another one to Joseph. Took a big kick here, right to near the blue line, and caught it around a one-on-one. Shot again, go save. Tatcher Demko holds on with under 5.30 to go in the third. Now they're ready for the face-off. You can feel the energy now. It's still a 5-4 game. Up in the lead by one. And Lindholm wins the face-off. Jolson ready to take his own time, and he will now try to sprint his way across into the Golden Knights zone. Bumps up the corner of the wall, and it's taken over by Brock. And Zadorov will take it over. Speeding it over to Kakoski. Garland lost that one. Wilson, pass broken up. Under five minutes remaining in the third period. Potter trying to look again to Rob. Shot stuffed again by Tatu Demko. Bakulskin right the air away on the other side. On a shot. Save. Puts it in again. Now he's another one to Lindholm. Oh, nice take. Oh, and a kill. Two times stop and expect the cold zone. It just really keeps it on happening right now. I mean, when, when did you know for Aiden Kill? He just made an, a, an incredible save in the, in the play. Gotta keep on doing it if you can. Got shots dropping traffic. And it's back and over again. Demko. We're under four minutes remaining, remaining in the third period. And the energy is still ahead. So after this game for game one and two, then we will be getting into NHL for games one and two on the other side. This will be all the games here with the first stop here in Carolina. That will be happening at PNC Arena. And this will be the first game at 7.30 p.m. Then, following along with the second game, this will be a, this will be the Dallas Stars second game in the Western Conference for tomorrow night. Nope, for the next day, this will be the Western Conference of the play matchup, as this will be only one of each game that's going to happen here. The Stars facing against the winner of Vegas or Vancouver. That will be the first game coming up. And the swap was up by Sark. Nice day to go. The Canucks are wild right now. They're heading their way to the conference finals. Just when you believe to hear that Paul with Don Paul Silver is really made this one a great look. And just how that was down to get both of them. Guy break through, rock, rock and grip, and got it through. A little frustration here, but I always know it's not what happens now. It's you just keep it in here as soon as you get there and better. Good stuff. Great though. As I mentioned here before, this one will be the start of the game. First game will be the Hurricanes facing against the Toronto Maple Leafs happening here at 8 p.m. Then following along with the second game, this will be the other side. As we've got the Dallas Stars facing against the Vancouver Canucks of the winner of it, or the Vegas Golden Knights. That will be the on the other side. The beginning starting at 9.30 p.m. at American Airlines Center. And this will be in Dallas at 8.30 p.m. So that's all the games here. That's every games one and two. So that will be on, on its way. So take a look for the first look at his appearances and get ready for the conference finals of the game. All here on Son of Beast. Saved again by Tactic Demko. And here's a Roman. Hughes trying to watch his team up to get ahead. Now it's across again to Koronik. Koronik can't hold the puck in. Marcus Hill right toward the right wing. Fires it! Now saved by Demko. And now it's back to JT Miller. 
Over now to Hughes. We are under two minutes remaining in the third. Now a take for Bertrandolo. Here's an arm one for Carlson. Carlson's shot, saved again. Now it's back to Paul Oglander. Over to Pedersen, and now he gives it again to Sutter. Sutter speeds across, gets right the rock. And here's Bertrandolo. And Brisson. Right toward the right way, he fires it out. Final minute in a third period. Pedersen will take his way down. While the goaltender is still out there on ice, he has it over to get a Hoglander. Hoglander's shot misses the target. Pedersen trying to get to Cole. Goal shot, and it's off deflected. Portangelo will now get the extra skaters on, and the goaltender is rushing toward the bench. Marbachev ready to take his way. Saved again by Tatu Demko. Here's a take down to Sevenson. On his way in the middle, this one takes over. And pull. Sevenson, safe. Pumps up the corner. And here's McNabb. McNabb trying to get over for the shot. Trying to pick up in. A quick reaction puts up for Dr. Demko. And Freeman to Miller. And this one, the team goes wild. As the Canucks are moving on to the conference finals. Ray for the second time ever. And that's going to do it. For the Knights, eliminated in the second round. Vancouver Canucks move on to the conference finals. You know what's always great? Tatra Demko. Great save of the night. He's been doing well. And hey, we salute to the fans. Well done, Canucks. It's going to be a great game between the Canadian team against the American team again. Got to enjoy yourself. Play for real. It all happens now. We can't be agree without them, with all the accomplishment. Me for along with paintbrush on the floor. Thanks for tuning in. And along with Boomer, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs and EA Sports. Thanks for joining us. And as always, toodles. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Time for three star plays in the game. Elias Slipple with two goals. No matchups this star. Until then, you'll have to try and see if you can get it. As if Kolskin just made a goal with this rebound. Takes it over with the backhand. And the first start goes to Tatcha Demko. He made an excellent save. That was 80 of them. But he has to. Nice takeover. And that is how it happened. Made a save all over. And now here's a look how they did with the total statistics before we wrap things up here. 75 over 84. No, 84 to over 75. The Vegas Golden Knights on the total shots. They're trying to find an open look. But they didn't do really well at all. 77 over 68 Vegas kits. And it was 719 over 535 time on attack. This one happens to be Vegas Golden Knights. Then it was 91 over 87 for pet passing percentage for Vancouver Canucks. They just doing everywhere. And it's 486 faceoff wins over 19 for Vegas Golden Knights. And it was no penalty kill, no power play goal for Vancouver. And it's just only a two minute penalty kill for Vegas Golden Knights. Well, I can always save for right now, and it's just, it's just it. We finally finished game seven. And pretty soon, you know where we're going to, right? We're going to the conference finals. That's right. So if you're staying around here for the next part of the games, so that's going to be underway soon. And we will change things up. The NBA conference finals will be first. And then, the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs Conference Finals will be the next one on its way. So if you enjoyed this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And we will see tons of more of stuff coming underway. And reaction videos will be returning soon. And follow along will be the best investor. Thanks for the uh, suggestion, viewer suggestion for the playlist to take. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, we hope you'll see you again soon. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is Terry Crews and Lightball. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. And we all say that it's just a day where you don't want to be. But you just got to enjoy your moment, enjoy the videos, and do everything as you can. Until next time. So long in Vancouver. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.